Hello, and welcome to the Edinburgh Guide to the PSA. The Prescribing Safety Assessment, or Skills Assessment if you live outside the UK, was created to test the soon-to-be doctor's ability to prescribe and manage patients safely, whilst abiding by best practice. This is not testing your ability to diagnose a condition, rather it is firmly focused on clinical practice scenarios relevant to the junior doctor. There are eight sections in the PSA, and therefore eight videos in this series. Each section includes a compilation of questions created to closely resemble those in the PSA, totaling 25 questions across 8 videos. This table, from the official PSA blueprint, outlines the minimum number of questions from each clinical setting. Notice the discrepancy between settings calling for a minimum of 8 items and settings calling for a minimum of 4. This reflects the expectation that a competent foundation doctor would have a significant role in the management of many internal medicine, geriatric, and general practice cases. But it would be unusual to expect the same level of input in surgery, paediatrics, psychiatry, and obstetrics and gynaecology. Also note that the following high-risk categories must be tested. These include anticoagulants, antibiotics, insulin, opiates, and fluids. You should make efforts to learn these and learn them well. You might rightly point out that anaesthetics, chemotherapy, antipsychotics are also considered high risk in medicine at large, but these rarely fall under the role of a foundation doctor. For an in-depth breakdown of the PSA, visit our website through the link in the description. The PSA questions are formulaic and predictable. Here is a list of all the question styles. You will also find that most questions look and feel very similar. Notice in particular the order in which findings and investigations are laid out, and that every paediatric question includes a child's weight. Each finding is followed by its range, in brackets. Occasionally you will find a viewable attachment. For an exhaustive list, you should again visit our website. You should familiarise yourself with abbreviations used in the PSA, most of which will be familiar to you already. These include drug routes, such as INH for inhaled, IA for intraarticular, NEB, for nebulized, PO for orally, PR for rectal, SL for sublingual, SC for subcutaneous, TOP for topical, and PV for vaginal. During your exam, you'll have access to a calculator and the British National Formulary, the BNF. However, you're expected to answer 60 questions for a total of 200 points in only two hours. In other words, you don't have time to lose yourself in the depths of nice treatment summaries. You should ensure that you focus on the question being asked of you. For example, in Section 7 Drug Monitoring, you may be monitoring for beneficial effects or adverse effects. Pay attention to the last line of the stem, as this will often reveal the drug or condition being tested. Don't worry if anything I've just mentioned feels vague or confusing, as this will all be clarified as the series goes on. If you're looking for more resources to help you study for your PSA, please go to our website as there are additional resources there, including a helpful summary of resources created by other people that are available for you to use. Thank you for watching, and good luck. Ha, ha.